We begin with that breaking news that Baltimore County firefighters continue to battle a stubborn fire in Rosedale at this hour. The two alarm fire at a tire shop sparked earlier today and has shut down Pulaski Highway. WJZ is live with complete coverage of the fire. Christy Breslin at WJZ Traffic Control with the severe impact to traffic as the roads remain shut down. But first, Amy Yancey is live at the scene in Rosedale with the latest. Amy. And Vic, this is still a very active scene. As you can see, crews have this burning building surrounded. They're pouring gallons and gallons of water onto the structure, specifically because it's so close to other neighboring businesses. They have to contain it so it doesn't spread. Flames and smoke shoot out of this burning building on Pulaski Highway. The stench of burning rubber fills the air surrounding all services tires. The tire shop started burning just before 12 p.m. When it first started, it just looked like dirt was blowing around and then when they opened up the door the smoke rolled out. Nearly 150 firefighters pouring water into the burning structure in an industrial area doing their best to ventilate the building and keep flames from spreading. They went in to initially attack the fire, uh, put a good bit of the fire out, went in to look for further fire, and the fire actually ended up growing. The two alarm blaze shut down traffic on Pulaski Highway in both directions between Chesico and I-695. There's a reason why these roads are closed off. As you can see, there's an intense amount of smoke pouring out of the structure. It's affecting the visibility, and it's very difficult to breathe. People in the area tell WJZ at least four people work in the tire shop. Fire officials say everyone made it out safely. No civilians were hurt, but one firefighter was taken to the hospital for heat exhaustion. With tire shops like these, there, there are typically um, many, many, many different types of tires inside, um, and, and there are a lot of them. So when they catch on fire, they turn to, tend to burn very quickly and very, um, very hot. So it's, it can be difficult to get them under control sometimes. Now, Vic, we are seeing some improvement from when we first arrived on scene. Less smoke than earlier, but crews are still hard at work, so they're asking people to avoid the area if they can. Live in Rosedale, Amy Yancey, WJZ Eyewitness News.